the Ranch. My name is Matt and I am glad that you are here. You may remember in a recent video, I built this. And in my mind, it was gonna look a lot better. It's a solar water heater. And it was supposed to kind of just constantly run passively. Like, I don't have to go turn it on, but it will heat up with the sun's rays, the water in my pool. And everybody's like, Matt, that's gonna take forever. I know, it will run every day and really just heat up my pool like two degrees. And that would make a huge difference because there's just a lot of days at the start of summer, at the end of summer, where it's kind of chilly and you wish the pool's a little warmer. And I just thought, this would be kind of a cool passive way where I don't have to pay any money for like a gas powered heater to heat my pool. It just actively does it all the time, extending the amount of time in the year that we can actually use my pool, or at least we can use it comfortably. My kids, let's be honest, they'll jump in it if it's like 60 degrees outside. They're in that pool, they don't care. But for Mare and I, we wanna be a little more comfortable. So I built this and I bought a little pond pump, but then I was like, you know it'd be cool if you didn't actually have to plug it in. If we just had like a solar panel that would power the palm pump, that would pump water through this thing, which will take the sun's rays, heat up these black rubber tubes, heating up the water, and dump it back in the pool. And it will just actively pump water through this big sort of radiator-like thing to heat up the pool. Well, we got a package today. I got a pump that's made to run off a lower voltage, and I got a solar panel. So you know, this is a 20 watt, 17.28 volt, 1.157 amp, 20.88 volt. Oh, I don't know, I don't know what all these mean. It's a really overcast day, as you can see, which is not gonna be good for solar. Um, my question though is, will it run on an overcast day like this? I gotta plug it in, I should have brought a tape out here. Okay, we are plugged in. Go. Oh, you hear it? It's just like stuttering. Cool. So that's actually interesting that it will do something on a day that's this overcast. Cool. Okay, that's that's neat. So I have the pump and the power thing figured out. And the reason I wanted to do a solar powered pump was because you don't want this thing running at night. So if I have this thing just plugged into the wall, it will run all night, it will pump warm water, the pool holds heat, it'll pump warm water through this, which increases the surface area, which increases losing that heat. And so this thing will act as like a radiator to cool the pool at nighttime. Whenever there's not sunlight on it, if there's water pumping through here, it will lose heat. So if I had a solar heater, it will only pump when there's sunlight out, which means it'll only pump when this thing is gaining heat. We're going solar. The other problem is, I don't know if you saw the video, but I had this all neatly arranged. It looked awesome. And then I flipped it up and these coils just fell everywhere and it got into a big jumbled mess and looks terrible. So I was like, man, how can I fix this? And a lot of you guys had some pretty good ideas. One of them that I did like was just making it smaller. So like cutting this to where we're gonna put this big piece of plexiglass over the top of it to help hold the heat in. And just cutting it so that it was like, the plexiglass was like right on top of it. That might work except this thing was in a huge loop and then the center came out and went over. So I did have to have one part where the hoses were crossing over each other. I don't know if that's gonna be a problem. So I think I'm gonna try something else first. try to keep my hose in line and sometimes you just gotta tie up the hose so that your hose stay in line. It's also raining outside now so I doubt we're gonna get enough sunlight to power the pump today. Everything's gonna be nice and green though so that's a plus. My trees are pretty. Probably not going to be you know heating the pool. 
on a day like this. Look how good this looks. So I got the zip ties all through here, drilled a ton of holes all in the back of this thing, ran the zip ties through. I'll paint the back so it's all nice and black. But it's good, it's done. That comes out there. I'm going to now put that on top of here, right now. <laughs> Check it out. Nice, clear plexiglass. Oh, so shiny. Top on there. Everything's done now. This thing is done. Five degrees warmer. That's all I would hope. Just five degrees. It's probably going to be a lot more than five though, right? I mean, I feel like that's going to absorb a lot of heat in direct sunlight. Ooh, it's still raining, but it seems a little brighter outside. Oh yeah, there's blue sky up there. Super overcast right now. No direct sunlight. And this thing's going. Ha <laughs> ha! Ha ha! Check that. So it's pumping super slow right now. Alright. Let's hook it up. It's gonna take it forever to pump all the way through this, I bet. Alright, you go over here. Get lots of sunlight. And now we wait to see if we can get water to come out of this thing. It should be pumping it into it right about now. I'm so excited. <laughs> yes, look at that. Cool. Okay, so we have a completely solar powered water heater. It's probably not heating the water at all because we don't have direct sunlight. When this thing has direct sunlight though, this will be pumping a lot. I actually got a big pump because I thought I would need this much, but when it has direct sunlight on that solar panel, this thing is going to be freaking cranking. Okay, this should work good. Temporarily I've set this here and set that there. Eventually, if this seems to work. I'll probably build a little platform down there behind this wall so you won't be able to see it. And just the two tubes and cord will come across there and dip into the hot tub right there. So you can see it just working here, just pumping off purely solar power. Now, this hot tub and that pool, they share the same water, but it takes a little bit to equilibrate. And I have temperature gauges on this and this that I can read inside, and they always are the same because they kind of share the water, they pump through. But if you're heating up the hot tub, the pool, it takes forever for the pool to get hot because you heated up the hot tub. So I'll be able to tell a difference, I think, if this one is two degrees hotter than that one or five degrees, 20 degrees hotter, probably not 20, but I'll be able to tell. So I'll probably have to give it a few days though because it's gonna take a while for it to be trickling in mildly warmer water for it to actually make a difference. And I know this will not make a big difference. A lot of people are like, Matt, this is barely gonna do anything. I know. I know, I'm having fun, I'm experimenting. I wanted to see what a solar heater would look like. And if it extends our pool swimming season by a couple weeks or by a month, then that's good. I mean, that's extra time that my kids get to play in the pool that they wouldn't have had if it was cold and uncomfortable. Check that out, that's so cool. I worked out so good. I've watched your channels for a few years. I made some soft body armor I want you to test. I made it from those materials you mentioned in the Demolition Ranch episode, Homemade Body Armor. I also made something for you and Link. Hope you like them. Yours truly, Jacob Paulson. Long live the Demolition. Inside the target, paper, shirts, and duct tape. I have not tested this armor. I'm not sure what it's rated. <laughs> I'm gonna take a guess and guess that it's not rated, but I think we should shoot it. Thank you for sending it, and thanks for these. And so cool. Thanks, Jacob. A true member of the Demolition. I appreciate it. Dear Matt, King of the Demolition, long time watcher of videos on Demo Ranch and Off the Ranch. Love every video you do, and at the end of every day, I look forward to a new one. I'm currently deployed with the Army, and your videos help pass the time and keep my mind busy. While here, I came across this scrub top and thought it was really cool. <laughs> I also think it's really cool. I've never seen a camouflage scrub top. Just need to do all my surgeries and that now. Keep making amazing videos and putting smiles on faces. Sending greetings from Southwest Asia, Daniel Matthews. Daniel, thanks for your service, brother. Oh, there's stuff in the back. Also, I promise it's clean. <laughs> God bless. Awesome. Uh, he said, also included one of my squad patches we made for this deployment. I think it's awesome. My gift to you. Daniel, 
Thanks, dude. <laughs> I think it's awesome too. Thank you for that. That is super cool. Dear Matt, my girlfriend loves you. Don't tell Mayor. I also love you. Tell Mayor. <laughs> we enjoy watching your channel. You're a cool dude. We powder coated this cup for you. I hope you like it. You don't have to shout out my website or channel, but if you wanted to see more of what we do, our website is bmccreations.com. Levi and Sydney, thanks for the entertainment. Check that out. Dude, thanks. That's super cool. Demolition for life. I love all these Demolition people supporting. You guys are awesome. This episode is sponsored by HelloFresh. We've been using HelloFresh for a couple years now. It's super convenient for our busy schedule because it shows up at your door. It's also America's number one meal kit. They do all the meal planning, shopping, and prepping so you can focus on a healthier you and a happier family. All the meals come together in 30 minutes max and call for less than two pots and pans and require minimal cleanup. So get out of the recipe rut and start cooking outside your comfort zone by discovering new and delicious recipes. HelloFresh is now from $6.99 per serving. We are going to get busy making this into an awesome meal. Get started with eight free meals. That's $80 off your first month of HelloFresh. Go to HelloFresh.com and enter the code off the ranch 80 It goes to support what we do here and you will get an awesome dinner experience. We're gonna eat this and I'll be right back. We just got this, uh, it's called a Woodcraft Assembly Look, Kit. I got a piece off. Oh nice, one of our friends from China sent it to us. We're gonna try to build this US Air Force like double rotor, quad rotor, chopter here. Wow, and they sent this. The real you are the most beautiful you. <laughs> That's cute, Annie, do you like it? Yeah. We are gonna attempt to put this together. Hold on, you can't take all the pieces out yet because we need to know where they are. They have to stay numbered. So we're just gonna take out these two big ones first. We'll check back in just a minute when we're a little Guys, further ahead. look. Annie is pumped about the flamingo pen. Oh, it's just great, Annie. I regret starting this project right before bedtime. Lincoln, we may not finish this today, okay? But we're, we're gonna try. May not. Probably won't. finish it tomorrow, maybe. Mm, maybe. Okay, we did this whole page. We still have this page and this page, but mom and dad are done. Look how good it looks. The cockpit opens up and everything. It's perfect. So we still need to, yeah. Can we finish it tomorrow? Yeah. Nice, cool. All right, kids, get to bed. No. You too, get to bed. Can you make your eyes go crossed? Huh? Can you go cross-eyed? <laughs> I can, I can. Nice, Lincoln, make your eyes crossed. <laughs> the other day, he went, I can make my eyes go across. <laughs> we're like, you have to do more than touch your nose. All right, we're gonna put kids in bed. Hey. Hi. Are you finally unpacking your suitcase? Sort of. Mare's usually very OCD and does stuff really fast, and I usually will leave a suitcase on the floor forever, but I unpacked mine day one, and you, it's been a couple days. You've been living out of that thing on the floor of our own house. I mean, I haven't been living out of it, really. <laughs> You've just been ignoring it. <laughs> yeah. You want to show them your new shirts while we're here talking about your clothes all over the floor? Mare made some shirts. We've had girl demolition ranch shirts. They were basically just demolition, but like a deep V-neck for a girl cut. Mare wasn't a huge fan of it. They weren't... They're still like tight t-shirts. They're not really... They weren't really like, I don't know, your style. Yeah. But Mare made her own. She took it upon herself to make her own. So what does that say? says just be kind. Just be kind, pocket tee. Yep. What else you got? And it's embroidered. So that pocket is now unfunctional. Okay. Yeah, we embroidered it. And then we have <laughs> y'all. This one's kind of funny because Mary does say this a lot. She goes, y'all all the time. She goes, y'all. And like when you don't even need to say y'all. Like when she sees something crazy, she's like, y'all. <laughs> and, and you're like, what? What are, what are you going to say now? She's like, that was it. Just y'all. What else you got? And then all distressed and holy. Yeah, you got holes in it. That's cool. Yeah. Anyway, if you're interested, we'll, we'll have those on Bunker Branding. And uh, yeah, Mayor's, Mayor's kind of doing her own thing, branching out, doing some girly stuff. 
They even made me my own page. <laughs> what? You're yeah. you're a creator on Bunker Branding? Yeah. But but you're just you're just a part of me. You're not your own creator. That's it's me people come to see. They they did it so that maybe it would deflate your head a little bit. Ain't gonna happen. <laughs> Thanks for watching Off the Ranch. We love you. We'll see you next time. Whoa. Oh. Hey, what camera is that? Number. Shut up! <laughs> Don't tell Mayor.